What's going on? Welcome to Fearless Friday. So this video today is about the first 30 seconds of an interaction, the most crucial point in the interaction because it determines whether the person is gonna to wanna to talk to you. This is the place in the interaction where the person is deciding whether they wanna to talk to you or not. It's also the most common place in the interaction where guys self-reject in the first 30 seconds to a minute of an interaction. And I wanna address why guys self-reject and why people choose not to talk to certain people in the first 30 seconds of an interaction and how you can negate that and get people comfortable and relax and surrender so that they actually can enjoy the conversation with you. Because it's very hard to have a connection with a person until they've decided to relax. And in a sense, you have full control over that by relaxing yourself first. And sure, it can be very difficult when you're first doing an approach. If you're in your head, you're overthinking, you're very scared about how the person's gonna respond to you. So I wanna teach you how to really get yourself out of that to be in more cool, calm, and collected in the interaction so that people will naturally gravitate towards talking to you more. So the first 30 seconds of an interaction, what makes a person stay in that 30 seconds of an interaction versus dismissing themselves and stop talking to you? Well, again, it comes down to how they perceive you and what your energy is like, as we say here, right? How are you coming off to them that makes them decide whether they want to continue the conversation or whether they want to bail on you, right? Now, if you've got a really nice, good energy that's not trying to get or take or push, people are more inclined to want to talk to you a little bit more. And you literally see it during an interaction. People will have this surrender in the first couple seconds and you'll kind of feel it and it'll be like, oh, okay. It's almost like they're setting into the interaction or they're setting in to have a longer conversation with you versus kind of still being up in arms and not really decided yet. Um, and I'm sure you guys can feel that when you guys are talking to people. There's a sense that they kind of want to pull away. Um, so I want you guys to really start to learn how to get over this hump and have more interactions where people can relax in front of you and continue this conversation because without that relaxation or that surrendering, it's very hard to get a connection with somebody, right? So you're gonna to need to, A, learn how to ground yourself more, get out of your head, stop the thinking, and start to really enjoy the tension of the first 30 seconds. Now, again, this is also the place where guys self-reject the most, right? Because their stories come up, our stories come up, especially if you're a nice guy, our stories come up. You know, we're bothering people, this person doesn't wanna to talk to me. Maybe we're reading their facial cues and we're taking those as signs to dismiss ourselves, that they're not entertained with us being there, they want us to leave, that kind of stuff. And so we'll generally self-reject versus learning how to relax in all that, not take any of that personal, but also realize that you're a stranger walking up to a stranger. So to them, if they have a story about stranger danger or maybe you're trying to sell them something, things like that, it's gonna take time for them to see that you're not that person that they're fearing and they'll actually start to relax in their body once they get the, once they get the hint. And then that's when the interaction starts. So in practice, what I want you guys to do is this. I want you guys to become way more keen and way more aware in the first 30 seconds of, of, of your own patterns. What are your patterns when you get in front of a person in the first 30 seconds? Do you have a tendency or inclination to dismiss yourselves if you're looking at their, their facial cues? Um, or do you get in your head, not know what to say, right? Or pause or freak out versus just realizing that it's the first 30 seconds. That's where the most tension is gonna be and that's okay. You're actually in a way expecting it to have the most tension. So you also, you come prepared and you're just like, okay, this is gonna be kind of rocky in the first 30 seconds, not a big deal. I'm just gonna relax, receive, talk, and really become aware of the person's emotions, right? The more you can learn to feel what a person's feeling, one, you start to stop self-rejecting because you realize, okay, maybe this person's just a little bit nervous. It's not necessarily me. They're just nervous because this is a strange interaction what you'll probably do is just take a step back and relax a little bit more, giving them space to relax. And then you'll see that sweet surrender where there's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, bre a breathing down where it's like, they might be like this at first and then they kind of just surrender and they're like, okay, they're talking to you like a regular person now or like a friend almost versus like the stranger where they're kind of on guard. And so we want to get you through that first 30 seconds so you can start seeing that more often. When you start to see that, you start to realize that any any interaction that you have can go more than a couple of minutes if you're willing to get past that first 30 seconds of rockiness, you know? So take that with you. You have an interaction you initiate, right? What I want you guys to do this week 
is to really be investigative of what your patterns are when you stop a person. Notice is there an in initial tension spike and then you go into your head or is there a, a tension spike and you want to eject or are you looking at a person's facial cues, letting that determine whether or not you stay. Because again, you might get a person's facial cues that, that shows that maybe they're disinterested in. And a lot of people are gonna give you that right off the bat. Think about the girls with like, say for instance, arresting bitch face, right? You'll get that a lot. Doesn't mean they're not entertained. It just means that that's in a way, that's their defense, that's their pattern. And a lot of guys will see that and just kind of screw off because they don't know how to handle it. They don't realize that if you just hang in there for a little bit longer, keep talking, relax and enjoy yourself, this girl is going to open like flower and start to relax more around you. So I wanted you guys to get over that phase so that you guys can start to have longer conversations. Now, how does this apply to women and dating and attraction? Well, you got to be able to carry a conversation, right? You can't keep taking yourselves out. A lot of the times, the hotter the girl, the quicker a guy will self-reject because his stories are going to become way louder, right? His story is going to be like, you know, um, I'm bothering this girl or this girl is too good for me. I'm not good enough for this girl. Um, these type of stories, right? These self-defeating stories that you're going to have. And so if you can't carry a 30 second conversation with the girl that you find extremely attractive or beautiful, how's that going to work for you when you're going out? to bars to talk to these kind of girls or work your way up to talk to these kind of girls in life. Yeah, it's gonna be a struggle, right? So what you wanna do is you want to do these in low tension settings, right? Practice their having 30 second conversations with people that you may not be the most attracted to. So maybe it's stopping an old woman, right? Maybe it's stopping an old couple. Maybe it's stopping a girl that you're mildly attracted to or maybe just a little bit more than mildly attracted to, right? and then working your way up to talking to those girls that you absolutely love because there's no difference between talking to a girl that you are not attracted to and talking to a girl that you are attracted to the only thing that's different is a story that you put up about the girl that you're attracted to and that story makes it more difficult for you to relax in front of a person so now let's go back to what to do in your initial 30 seconds well again like i said be investigative right find out what your patterns are are you the type of person who takes facial cues and you use it as a means to self-reject? And if you do do that, then I want you to start to learn how to stop that and stay in a little bit longer. Let this person's facial cues be this person's facial cues. Don't decide for them that they don't want to talk to you. A lot of guys do that and they'll self-reject and you might end up realizing that the girl was starting to open up slowly, little by little, but you decided that she didn't want to talk to you, so you just screwed yourself out of a great conversation, a great connection, a great date, possibly sex. So stop doing that, right, first and foremost. Give yourself a little a chance to see these kind of things, right? The more you start to see these things, you can't unsee them. The first time that you see that, oh, I didn't take those things as rejections and that conversation went really well, then it starts to confront those stories that you've had about not being good enough, she doesn't want to talk to you. And it puts you more on the level playing field of being like, okay, cool, there's a potential here. I act, girls want to talk to me. And now it's just a matter of me showing up and continuing talking, continuing to find curiosity, continuing uh, throughout the whole interaction before I self-reject. So after you've done the investigative work and you're very clear about what it is that you're doing in the initial 30 seconds of an interaction and your style, then I want you to make a commitment to yourself to go out and actively go against your pattern because you're going to need to see new things. And in order to see the new things, you're going to need to do things the opposite way that you've been doing them. So if your initial pattern is to self reject, then it's going to be you standing in there maybe 30 seconds longer than you would normally stay in there or finding that point where you become uncomfortable and want to self reject and deciding that you're not you're going to see it through completely to see if that's actually true and a lot of times it's not true okay so taking your pattern and starting to go against it now i want you guys also in this to become aware as you're starting to go against your pattern what are you noticing that's different from what you thought was going to happen right is it that you thought she was going to walk away but instead maybe she starts relaxing she starts to lean in and she starts to ask you more questions that's very common when you start to relax in that setting where most guys will get shy nervous and pull out if you stay in there for a little bit and also again like i said have that full awareness and start to become very aware that it's tension it's going to be a little bit awkward it's going to be a little bit rocky 
and you come prepared for that, you'll do way better than the guy who self-rejects and you'll reap the benefits of more than the guy who will self-reject, okay? So again, find your patterns, start to do the opposite of what your normal pattern is. It's gonna be challenging, but you can do it, do it very incre incrementally. Maybe take steps where you're approaching girls, again, who are not as attractive as you would like, but it'll give you practice of have these 30 second conversations. Also last week, I gave you guys an assignment to go out and do this 10 by 10 exercise. And in that you can do a 30 second conversation to bail yourself out of having to complete the 10 indirect stops. Now in doing these kind of stops, it'll really put you in a position to have these 30 second conversations. And it's very simple. If you can just learn how to find that curiosity about a person, you keep asking questions about them and keep relaxing, people will generally start to get more curious about you too. Why, why is this person stopping me? Who are you? Especially if you have good vibes, they wanna know more about you. It has nothing to do with how you look, it has everything to do with how you feel to them. And if you're confident and you feel great, cool, calm, and collected, then they're gonna to wanna to talk to you. Brian calls this thing a lean in, and it's almost like we call, pick up might call it an indicator of interest, but a lean in is more like, they start to relax, they're having this conversation with you and then they generally start to a like body physically starts to lean more into you and they're asking you questions they want to know more about you what are you doing out here where are you from things like this these are little breadcrumbs to let you know that they're slowly starting to open up so when you start to see these things know that the conversation is starting to pick up and it's going in the direction where a connection can be established so just hang tight okay and keep hang in there so also guys with that please continue to journal. It's so vital that you journal this stuff because how else are you going to cement this stuff into your head that things are changing for you? You gotta have it written down and you have to be able to look at it and see it physically on paper so you can constantly remind yourself that you're changing, you're getting different results when your stories come up and say that you aren't, okay? So guys, remember to hit that like and subscribe button so that you guys get the videos every week. We can keep blasting you with footage that's gonna help you guys improve your approaching skills. Also use the comments below and let us know if it's working for you. I've been looking at the comments, I love them. You guys are actually out doing this stuff and it makes me happier to post it because you guys are actually doing it. Now, if you guys need more help than what we're given, put it in the comments as well. Let us know we're constantly thinking about making videos that can really reach the guy who really is having the toughest time with all this stuff. Um, and we want to reach you. We want to help you guys out as much as possible. Okay. So guys, remember, we appreciate you and only the confident really live. Peace.